Lesson 1, Bag Service. Have you seen our waiter? Here he comes now. We've been sitting here for almost 10 minutes. Oops, I guess I was wrong. That isn't our waiter. We can give him five more minutes and then leave. I'll go up front and talk to the manager. That's a good idea. Maybe they'll give us free drinks for waiting so long. Maybe he'll send us our waiter immediately. Every time we eat out, it's an adventure. Last time, we got seats next to the kitchen. We'll never go there again. Lesson 2. I feel like Chinese. Let's go out to eat. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? Let me think a minute. I feel like Chinese. That sounds delicious. I know a good Chinese restaurant. How far away is it? It's only 10 minutes from here. Do we need uh, reservations? Oh, no. We can walk right in. Let's go now. I'm hungry. Lesson 3. A bad steak. I'm calling the waiter. What's the matter? The steak has too much fat. What do you want the waiter to do? Bring me a better steak. I wouldn't do that. Why not? They will drop the new steak on the floor, step on it, and then spit on it. You're crazy. Then the waiter will give you a big smile as he brings you the new steak. Where did you get these crazy ideas? I used to cook in a restaurant. Lesson 4. Do I hear $60,000? I don't believe the art world. What is it this time? An Andy Warhol drawing. He's a famous artist. He drew two butterflies and a flower on a napkin in a restaurant. Did he sign it? Yes. Is it beautiful? It's just black ink on a white napkin, and the napkin has food stains. So it's not worth much? Only about $30,000. Without the food stains, it would probably be worth more. Lesson 5. Hot Bread This hot bread is delicious. I like this restaurant because they give you free bread. Well, I think we're... we are paying for it. No, look at the bill when we get it. There's no charge for the bread. It is delicious, especially with butter. I think we should just leave after we fill up on the bread. They probably wouldn't like that. I'm eating so much bread that I'm getting full. Then stop eating the bread. Okay, just one more piece. Pass the butter, please. If I owned a restaurant, I would never serve hot bread before the main course. That's terrible. I would never go to your restaurant. Lesson 6. A good lunch. Lunch was delicious. Thank you. What kind of soup was that? It was tomato soup. That tasted so good. I put lemon and butter in it. The sandwich was good, too. Everyone likes bacon and tomato sandwiches. Especially on toast. And the pickles were great, too. Tomorrow, we'll have rice and fish for lunch. I can't wait. Lesson 7. A good table. Is this table okay? No, it's too close to the kitchen door. How about this table? No, it's too close to the front door. This looks like a nice table. No, it's too close to the salad bar. Okay, I give up. Well, 
There is one good table. Great. Which one? That one. A group of eight just sat down at it. Lesson eight: A slow burger. I can't believe how long this line is. This is a popular restaurant, isn't it? Yes, but isn't it a fast food restaurant? Is it? It's the slowest hamburger in town. That's because they cook it while you wait. Yes, that's why it's also the best hamburger in town. A great burger and great service. Yes, the workers are very polite. And they're clean. I've been coming here for years. Me too. Excuse me, they just called my number. Lesson nine: Fear of germs. Is this a clean restaurant? Well, the tables and chairs look okay. Okay, let's sit down. Check out the silverware. It passes inspection. Here comes the waiter. See if his hands and nails are clean. Well, the waiter looked clean, so I guess it's okay to eat here. You're forgetting about the bathroom. I'm going to just hope that the bathroom is clean. You're not going to examine it before we order dinner. No, I'd rather not find out that it's dirty because I'm pretty hungry right now. Me too. Let's forget about germs and focus on food. Lesson ten: Dirty nails. Let's leave. But we just got here. Did you see the waiter's hands? No. He had dirty fingernails. Really? His nails were black. That's disgusting. And he poured water into our glasses. Yuck! No water for me. I wonder if the cook's nails are dirty too. Who cares? Let's get out of here. Lesson one: A good nose. Some people have good noses. I wish I had a good nose. Mine is way too big. I don't mean good looking. I mean good smelling. Oh, but that can be a curse. Yes, because you can be too sensitive to odors. I'll say my girlfriend has a nose like a drug dog. Did she catch you using drugs? Sort of. She knows whenever I sneak a cigarette. You don't need a good nose for that. Cigarettes stink. But when I sneak just one cigarette in the morning, she can smell it that evening. Boy, that is a good nose. I told her she should apply for a job at customs. Lesson two: A blind date. I've got a date for you. Oh, really? Are you interested? Maybe. What is she like? She's got a great personality. Uh oh, that means that she's fat and ugly. She's cute. Okay, so she's not ugly. She's just fat. She weighs ninety-eight pounds. Okay, she's not fat. So what's the problem with her? Who said there's a problem with her? The problem is she has no problems. She's too good for me. Lesson three: Two pineapples. I have a date tomorrow night. Really? Who with? A girl I met at the market. You met a girl at the supermarket? She was standing behind me in a really slow line at the checkout counter. What did you say to her? I had two pineapples in my cart, and she asked where I had found them. She asked you about your pineapples. I told her I took the last two on the shelf, but I offered her one of mine. That was nice of you. She asked me how she could return the favor, so I asked her out. 
Sometimes a slow line can be a good thing. Lesson four: Blue eyes. You have pretty eyes. Thank you. So do you. I wish my eyes were blue. What's the matter with green eyes? Nothing except my favorite color is blue. Maybe in your next life you'll have blue eyes. But what if I'm a fish in my next life? I think some fish have blue eyes. I hope I don't come back as a fish. I hope I come back as a cat. Cats have beautiful eyes. I would love to have blue cat eyes. Lesson five: A bad date. I had the worst date the other night. What happened? First of all, he was half an hour late. That's not a good start. Then he didn't bother to apologize. That's rude. Then he drove too fast to the restaurant. That's dangerous. I thought about getting out and taking a taxi home. What happened at the restaurant? We had a forty-dollar meal, and he left one-dollar tip. I guess you can't go back to that restaurant. Lesson six: Ask her out. I'm in love with that girl. Have you told her? Of course not. Why not? She would laugh at me. How do you know? Because they always do. Maybe she's different. They're all the same. Just ask her out to dinner. And then what? And then she'll know that you like her. Lesson seven: Sweet dreams. I don't like that man. Why not? He's a dirty old man. What do you mean? He's old enough to be my father, yet he asked me out. Well, you can't blame a man for asking. He should act his age. But a lot of old people are still interested in dating. They should find a nice hobby. Just wait until you're fifty years old. Dating will be the furthest thing from my mind. That's what you say now. Wait till you're fifty. Lesson eight. Let's have dinner. I think you're very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Would you have dinner with me? I would like to. Can I pick you up Friday night? What time? Eight o'clock. That sounds great. We'll go to a French restaurant. I've never been to a French restaurant. I think you'll love the food. I'm not going to eat any snails. Lesson nine. I love you more than money. Does your girlfriend ever make you angry? Sometimes. What does she do? Just yesterday, I told her I wouldn't trade her for all the money in the world. That was a nice thing to say. <laughs> That's what I thought. What did she say? She laughed. She didn't believe me. That wasn't very nice of her. She said that nothing is more important to me than money. What did you say? I told her I wouldn't trade her for any other woman in the world. Lesson ten: True love. I love you. I love you too. I loved you the first day I saw you. Was it love at first sight? Yes, it was love at first sight. I didn't love you at first. I know. I had to chase you for a while. Yes, you chased me and then you caught me. Now you're mine forever. And you're mine forever. 
We're going to grow old together. And be happy together. Lesson 11. Go on a blind date. Would you like to go on a blind date? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. I don't want to date a blind woman. A blind date doesn't mean that she is blind. What does it mean? A blind date is a date with someone you don't know. Why would I date someone I don't even know? To try something new and exciting. What if I don't like her? Then you don't date her again. Lesson 12. One date only. Give me a hug. I'm not in the mood. What's the matter? I saw you looking at that woman. What woman? You know, that woman with the big boobs. I was not looking at her. You were, too. I'm not interested in her. Then, why were you looking at her? I was looking at something else. Oh, really? Then spend tonight looking at the sofa. <laughs> Lesson 13. One date only. Did you have a date Friday night? Yes, in fact, I did. Who did you go out with? A man I met in a coffee shop. Where did you go? We went to a nice restaurant. Anywhere else? Then we went to a jazz club. That sounds like a nice date. Yes, it was pleasant. But you won't date him again? No, he was nice, but there was no chemistry. <laughs>